Hi, I'm Susan Beattie here with Luke in our virtual classroom. For this Thanksgiving season, I'd like to share our tour with Luke of the Living History Museum in Plymouth, Massachusetts. It replicates the original settlement of the Plymouth Colony established in the 17th century by the English colonists who became known as the Pilgrims. Luke and I stopped to chat with a member of the Mashpee Wampanoag tribe who has more than 4,000 citizens today. Yeah. It has been a, a kind of like integrated and incorporated since 1870. So that's, you know, when, when native people, when Wampanoag people are allowed to move by land, hold jobs outside these zones, kind of like a reservation. But at the time, from the 16, 17, and 1800s, they're called like old Indian districts or Indian praying towns, which I don't know if they have them up there in Nova Scotia, but that's how it was around here from like hugely in the 1700s. But um, yeah, some families own, own and operate plots of land in Mashpee, and it's where our people, you know, were, were, were from and, and kept for that period of time. But uh, yeah, it's where our people always call home is, is Mashpee Band and Mashpee Tribe. Luke and I were told some interesting facts that you might not know about the Pilgrim's dogs. In 1620, when the separatists boarded the Mayflower and began their long journey from England to the New World, the humans were not the only passengers aboard the ship. Records show that two dogs joined the Pilgrims on their historic journey across the Atlantic. It is documented that Pilgrim John Goodman, a 25-year-old Mayflower passenger, brought his dogs, a Mastiff and an English Springer Spaniel, along for the voyage. Goodman's dogs became essential members of the settlement, providing protection and accompanying their owner on hunts. It is unclear whether or not Goodman's dogs were present at the first Thanksgiving that following November. Painter of United States history, John Leon Jerome Ferris, included the English Springer Spaniel in his depiction of the Pilgrim's famous meal with the native Wampanoag tribe. Luke and I talked to the Pilgrim about the Native Americans' dogs and the Pilgrim's dogs. Oh yeah, the Indians, they, they got dogs like that. That's all they get around here. If you get up to the Kennebec and the Wampanoag, they look more like a wolf, uh, the ones up there. But the, the natural dogs here have ears pointy and they, they're very narrow dog. They make a lot of noise, but they must yeah. them. They're yeah. like a fox. And so now we bring mastiffs, and our mastiffs are absolutely terrifying, which is why we want them. Yeah, and yeah, uh, sometimes yeah. that's all you need. And uh, a man named Martin Pring was here a few years back, before we come here. He said, if you are out trading, he was here before the plague, of course, in India, when they were much older. And uh, he said, if you are 20 Englishmen, is that where they are here? The Mastiff picture in this video is Miss Nokomis, and she's ready for a foster family. Thank you, Mastiff Rescue of Florida. The English Springer Spaniels pictured in this video are Miles and Andy, both adopted and living together with their family. Thank you, English Springer Rescue America. Please tap the thumbs up if you liked our visit and subscribe to our channel to support our mission of compassion for all animals. We hope you and your family, including your fur babies, have a happy and healthy Thanksgiving.